Hey, we are having a wonderful day on this end. I hope you all's having a wonderful day, and I hope I get the chance to make y'all's day just a little bit more wonderful. All right, today's show's gonna be great. Here's what we're doing. I'm up alongside this property up here on the easterly, northerly, easterly, mostly easterly part of the uh, property here, running up along this state highway, and I got some trees that are like, Right over again, you know, again, and here's the road, and uh, here's trees. It's not that bad because it's a super two lane, but it is a super two lane, so there is uh, traffic. And the less they know about this, the better off they are. We're going to whack these babies down. Come check it out, because we get into some uh, brutal brute pole pushing uh, situation and uh, some fence trees and uh, not... Those of you to sawmill, don't kill me. Not fence trees in the tree, fence trees beside the fence. You say the word fence trees around a sawmill, there's freaking pitchforks and lanterns come out. So you got <laughs> Before we get into this real quick, I wanna try to sales pitch you guys on these cool Eastern loggers calendars. Now let me tell you about the way these things work out. These here, they're, they're good quality, High quality Easter loggers calendar. Uh, so I got them selling on the uh, loggerway.com. They are, all the proceeds go to cancer. All of it goes to cancer. None of it stays here. I paid 21 bucks a piece for these bad boys. They're on the sale on the website for 16. So every one of them you buy, 16 of your dollars go to cancer. And for every one of them you buy, I throw in $5 for me and mommy to go to cancer. And uh, that's it, the proof's in the pudding. Hey, where's the proof at? There's the proof. Eastern Lager, that's what these calendars are for. For brassicle cancer, where's the brassicles? There we go, brassicles, breast cancer, all kinds of cancers. Cancers are bad, Big Daddy got cancer. The poor late Mike McCoy got taken by cancer. Uh, and many people we all know, cancer sucks. Cancer really sucks. And uh, this is just our little way of throwing some money to the situation and hopefully help those out in need uh, through their cancer treatments and stuff like that. And the man in charge with us, Vernon Miller, he's a cancer survivor. And he said he made a deal with God back when he got cancer that if he could come through this, he's gonna help others with the cancer. And this is Vernon's way of getting back and I support Vernon 100%. He's a good man and I trust him. Hope y'all like this. Check it out. So we come and got the bottom done. We're up here on this hill. Now I lodged that big ash tree in a tree I got to cut yet, but I don't care. The main focus was when I cut him to get him up the hill instead of down the hill because the big son of a buck would be hard to pull out. So I just aimed him for a tree I had to cut yet, which I should have cut it before I went down, hindsight 2020, uh, but I didn't. So I didn't have nowhere to put the ash tree, so I stacked him on top of that. I'll have to deal with that later. I'll probably cut that tree out from under it because there's nothing out that way. I cut that clean coming in. Gonna drop down over this steep little bank here and cut these trees down here yet, and then we're We'll get work our way back up the hill. I got a little bit of gas. I'm gonna have to gas my rig up. Before I head down over that daggone bank, this is my worst bank yet. I'm gonna have to swing him out that way. I better bring my hammer and wedge because I'm gonna try to put him up here if I can, if I can get him to go. Want me to leave y'all up there or take y'all down there with me? Ah, oh, heck with it. I'll take y'all with me. We'll go down there in the deep woods. You wanna go in the deep woods together? We'll take us chainsaw and we'll cut some trees. Yeah, we'll cut some trees down here. Yeah. 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 Well, here, I'll leave you up here. Here. Now, don't let me forget about y'all. Can you see that tree right there? Yep, you can see it. Can you see that tree right there? Yeah, you see it. There. All right.
three setbacks one thing but two of them yeah i better get the broody brute pull them down that ash i don't know if i'll get that swung in that hole or not we'll see let me get old broody brute down here and whoa these freaking walmart shoes suck on a hillside like this See if I can get old Broody Brute down there and brood him down. Come on, Broody. Get down there. Come on. Yeah. Get on down there, Broody. Come on, Broody Brute. Get on there, Broody. That's the thing about select cutting. You can't get in that big old clear cutting momentum because you got to work around what's standing. Some trees you can butcher the crap out of, other trees you gotta be delicate around. See if I can even reach down here without running my dag on chainsaw. Where's my chainsaw? You might see my chainsaw. There it is. Hello, chainsaw. How you doing? Chainsaw. It's been a long time. I use you like I used to do. Hello, Bobber. How you doing? I hope you're doing fine with my brutal brood. I'm on to throw you on the ground. Damn, I should have been a country music star instead of a damn YouTube loser. <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't knock him into traffic. Yeah, I did. At all this, I did forget there's a highway right there. I don't know if a tree could reach him, but it'd be dangerously close if it couldn't. Come on. Go up there where you're supposed to go. I hope you're doing well since I cut you down so I could top of my house. Man, that's got a ring to it. Hello, Curtis. How you do it? I hope y'all were addicted. Well, I'm gonna get something. Oh, hey, there's a tree up there. <laughs> Bruce down here burning rubber. Well, come on. Oh, made a little spot there on that poplar tree. I'm sorry, Mr. Poplar. I'm more sorry, Mr. Forrester. Hello, Papa. How you doing? Am I gonna get killed trying to drop this great big piece of schnizz? Hello, in there, chicken. You're in my way. I hope you go to Hades. Come on. There you go, Mr. Sick. Mr. Moore. Mr. Sick, 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 he's Mr. Sick, 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 he's sickity prick. Mr. Sick, sick, prick of Moore. Oh boy, we're gonna rock it over, boys. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna be like old truckers gonna be in a rocking chair here in a minute. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah boy. I hope that tree holds. I hope you're doing fine. I'm gonna kill myself on this friggin' hell. Boy, same picture every day. Uh, one of you, I forget his name. Cody, I think. No, it wasn't Cody. It's a different one. Send me a picture every day. He's got, uh, he's got a brutal unit, too. Just like old Brutus, except it's yeller. Send me a picture. That's son of a buck laying on the sod. He said, uh, hey, you ever wear that seatbelt and that thing? I said, well, I mean, sometimes when I get spooked, I do. He said, well, you need to wear it when you're not spooked. He said, that hurts. He said, that really, really hurts. Okay, now come on. Now come on, lift you son of a buck. Is that coming right for us? 
Well, it's a white tailed deer. Oh, yeah. Well, that's going to miss us by just a couple inches. How you doing there, buddy? Wop, it said. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's go top that son of a buck. I need to have a little plug holding him down there. So what I'm trying to say is I got to do my own wrenching. So, I don't like to use the intermittent saw on great big timber because I'll break it. <laughs> Hear the truck climbing up the hill? All right, I hope I got out. I hope I got Uno Moss wedge down here. I think I took one wedge up in Broody Boot. I put my other one down here. Ooh, I might need a wedge on that. I'll set y'all up here. Y'all set up here in safety. Have your own home here. Y'all can watch from the safety of your own home. That's a good thing about watching Logger Wade is you ain't within striking distance where he can hit you with a tree. Because I have sent a few running. Oh, Lordy, this tree is loaded like a daggone freight train. You see the cars go through right there. Uh, Brad, 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 be rad. What is the idea here, bud? What's the big idea there, Brad? Whoa. It ain't got enough forward lean to get him to go. Son of a biscuit. There is no way this time a buck is going. It's ash. It's not worth much. Nothing's worth much right now, but it's worth something. I'll blow him up my face here. That's probably what I'll do. So we'll see. And if I'm not lucky, the worst that can happen is I can put him in a highway. So, oh well. Either way, food alone be worth the trip. <laughs> I'm sitting here scoping this ash tree out and usually I get to something boring like this. I usually cut it out of here but I wanted to show you all how because the camera don't show it I mean this son of a buck is like holy cow <laughs> it's leaning all over that freaking road out there <laughs> I mean all over it. and uh, I can't get down to it with the machine and I can't make myself happy with it. So I'm just sitting there staring at it, thinking about it. got to thinking I said there a second ago it'd take me an act of Congress to get this son of a buck down there in that hole and I got to thinking 
Anybody comment down below if anybody's got Nancy Pelosi's number there. Let's see. Because by golly, I bet Pelosi could get that son of a buck down in that hole if anybody could. <laughs> Just don't tell her I don't got my mask on. y'all see that that was pretty cool and we're about eight feet off the ground here don't make a misstep look at that we oh that tree i'm gonna knock a tree over it's gonna roll and spit me out now i like that tongue and groove on stuff like this if you're walking in and out tree look at that hinge triple hinge gotta love it that triple hinge put that tree over there if not that's some going right there now what that tongue and groove does that keeps that tree from rolling it'll sit right there in that tongue and groove until you put the skitter to it and pull it and that tongue and groove will put some up pressure and hopefully make it to the fence before it falls we'll see they already got stuff on the fence and everything else so all right let's get out of here and get back to brooking did y'all get yourself an eyeball full oh yeah boy Kel, that road was closer than I thought. It's sitting right there. Look, well, that pickup was right there. <laughs> it's probably best I didn't know that before we cut the tree. Shoo! That's why the Forester marked it to get it. It's an ash and it'll be dying here for too long. I'd say they wanted to get it out of there so it didn't fall on the road and hurt somebody. Thank <laughs> you. 
to cut this dead gum tree on a dead gum ground. Wait, are you winning the battle? I guess you can say that. Have you got your most radical part done? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on an ash tree here. Yeah, we're working at her. Okay, I believe I'm gonna go look at timber. Wait, I'm gonna dump a fuel out the fuel bag. Go down here and look at a patch of timber. Listen to her right now. You can tell my saw's not revving up. That's why it's getting sticky and catching. Uh, my motor, my horsepower, my horsepower. My, well, yeah, the horsepower ain't there, but my saw ain't winding up. It's a uh, son of a buck, and uh, I don't know what RPMs it's down to, but it's supposed to be almost up to 12.5, and uh, it's all the way down to, I'm sure, 10 or less, or getting close to down to 10. My throttle cables are stretching out little by little and it gets worse. I still got a few more vidges. This saw getting worse before I 
finally fix it and get her wrapped out again. Boy, that tree. She's leaning back there. You see that fence? <laughs> Whatever, state. <laughs> against the traffic and the cars coming through there you know it's cut don't y'all pay no mind just go on through what they don't know won't what they might know what they don't know might hurt them Everybody, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the buttons and leave me likes comments stuff let me know what's up uh, uh, and uh, anybody's wanting logger weight gear go to loggerweight.com and uh, help yourself as a shop there and uh, we got all that good mess take care of it and uh, mostly just want to say thanks everybody hope everybody has a good one later on <laughs>